lucky you're a cat. You don't have to do homework assignments that are totally impossible. Well, at least they're impossible for me. I'm supposed to write a story about an interesting thing. And look what I have so far. Nothing. Zip. Not a word. Okay, okay. I'll be conscientious and give it another try. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful ballerina. She went to France. And then... And then... That's all I can think of. Dinah, I just can't do this. Wait a minute. I know. If I have to write about an interesting thing, then I should go to an interesting place. Hmm. I wonder where everyone is. <gasps> Look out! Gracious child, can't you watch where I'm going? I'm sorry. Let me help you with your books. What? Oh, thank you, my dear. Oh, my. What a day this has been. <laughs> really? An interesting day? Oh, my word, yes. <laughs> I guess it all started this morning. I awoke to the sound of a tap, tap, tapping at my window pane. Go on. Such a strange sound. Insistent. Haunting. What on earth are you scribbling, child? Oh, don't worry. I'm just taking a few notes. I have to write a story for school. Oh? You were saying? What? Right. I was frozen with fear. Who could it be? A raven, perhaps? Or a monster? Or was it the queen? Carefully, I crept up to the window. And? It was the hatter. He wanted to borrow a cup of sugar. That's it? That doesn't make an interesting story. Well, it was interesting to me. Well, maybe if you tell me... Sorry, Alice, no time to chat. The Queen's library books are almost overdue. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Marshmallow. And I thought I had my story. I woke up a little late. your help. I have this homework assignment and... Nope, sorry. I don't do windows. What? Oh, no, no, no. Not housework. I said homework. You know, like math problems or English assignments. Uh, you mean schoolwork. Homework is schoolwork. You've lost me. I have to write this story for school. Will you help me? Speaking of housework, I am reminded of a story. Once there was a little boy who only liked to play basketball. His mother tried to get him to clean his room, but he wouldn't listen. His mother told him that if he kept his room clean, fame and fortune were sure to follow. She also told him if he didn't do it right this instant, he couldn't play basketball for a whole week.
The boy ran up to his room where he scrubbed and straightened until he had the cleanest bedroom in the world. Soon, word spread of the boy's clean room, and he was visited by famous people from far and wide. The boy became famous all over the universe and traveled to many interesting places where he helped other life forms clean their rooms, too. And he still had time to play basketball. What a wonderful story. Will you please repeat it so I can write it all down? Alice, I'm surprised at you. It wouldn't be right for you to use my story for your housework assignment. Homework. By the way, my stories are my stories. It would be better for you to make up one of your own. <laughs> Here's the grocery list. <laughs> I really think you should do the grocery shopping. Think of how much fun you'll have. No, 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 no. I insist you do it. I'd feel just terrible if I deprived you of the pleasure. Oh, I'd feel awful for taking the task from you. But I'd feel dreadful. I'd feel horrible. Sad. Bad. And not at all glad. For you. No, after you. No, after you. By all means, after you. I wouldn't want to deprive you or take away the pleasure. Oh, no. So here's the list. I insist no. you can do it at your leisure. Some caviar. An ice cream cake. Potato chip. Chocolate shake. Trout dogs with pizza pie and anything else you'll want to buy. Well, here's the list. I insist with a map and compass, too. Guide you so you won't get lost. At any cost, be back by two. Uh. Two? Yes, two. Well, I thought you needed four of everything. <laughs> You're very wise to compromise. It's written here. It's very clear. Just take the list. I insist. It's such a thrill and all downhill. So, so hurry up. up. There's, There's not, not much time. time. Be back soon. Let's, Let's end this rhyme. Alice, you look a bit down in the dumps. Oh, really? I think she looks kind of sad myself. I've got a big problem. I'm supposed to do something that I don't know how to do. We can help you with that. Exactly. We hardly ever know how to do what we're doing. Or even what we're doing. So I'm sure we can help. I'm supposed to write an interesting story for my homework. Excuse me, Alice. <laughs> but I don't think writing a story will help you get your house clean. No, you're thinking of housework. No, I'm thinking of your story. Oh, yes, my story. Just no good at writing stories. Well, we're quite good at it. We could write it for you. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I'm supposed to be conscientious and try my best. Maybe we could be conscientious for you. I don't think it works like that. Oh, around here it does. You see, conscientious is our middle name. I thought yours was Melvin. Well, I guess I could use your help. Just this once. All we ask in return is that you do us just one little thing. A teensy tiny favor. Like what? Just do our grocery shopping. There's just a few items on this little list. Well, why not? How hard could it be? <laughs> Splendid! <laughs> Come, my fine furry friend. Let us go into the forest and seek inspiration. <laughs> now, let's see what's on their little grocery list. 